Alright, today is September 30th, 2012, and this is another ultraviolet update for the Beeklebotix SNES Pie Box. <laughs> uh, please forgive the noise, that's not in my apartment, that's uh, right across from me, uh, the new neighbors and all that. Uh, my apartment is completely quiet with the exception of a computer uh, running in the background. Um, and um, so if you hear any noise, music, or, or any copyrighted material, or any dialogue, um, that that's not mine. Uh, I'm narrating this video, and I got a ultraviolet LED, 380 nanometers, connected to a power supply of 3 volt at 600 milliamp, which it also says it's 7 watt. Uh, you can still see this LED is glowing a little bit because apparently it hasn't used up all of the, um, I guess, residual charge. I mean, this, this wall adapter is in my hand, everything. And the LEDs do this. They use such small amounts of electricity that they will continue. Well, they're not like a regular light bulb. And this power supply right here in my hand puts out a whole lot more power than what this LED requires. I could power up to about 25 to 30 of these LEDs off of this uh, power supply here. Uh, this LED typically uses 3.3 volts uh, and can use a maximum of 4 volts, yet this power supply only puts out 3 volts, so I'm definitely not over volting this LED, but the amperage of this power supply is a lot higher than what this um, LED requires. That's why I power so many, and that's why this L I guess that's why this LED gets hot because the power supply says it only does three volts, and yet the LED says the the LED typically requires 3.3 volts. Um, so you will see the result. Um, I'm about to uh, plug it in now. You notice it gets a lot brighter. Um, and uh, here's some. Uh, fluorescent and glow-in-the-dark paints that I have. This is uh, fluorescent purple. This is fluorescent blue. Uh, this is glow-in-the-dark green. And you see it still continues to glow. And after I uh, pull the light away. This is glow-in-the-dark yellow right here. It continues to glow as I pull the light away. This, uh, you see it's blue. It only glows while I have the light up to it. Same thing with this uh, purple. And I uh, guess yeah, 380 nanometers right here well into the ultraviolet range <clears throat> and typical black light is 405 nanometers uh, which is a more deeper purple but does not have as much of a uh, ultraviolet effect in terms of fl uh, fluorescent glowing now you can see the glow in the dark uh, kitty cats they glow a lot better under the black light than all the ultraviolet light this light um, and you see it will make these uh, it illuminates the luminescent paint this is glow-in-the-dark spray paint that I got here you see uh, where I'm going to illuminate it um, watch the inside of the uh, pie box as I introduce the LED you see it here and all of a sudden it glows you see the front vent hole here, and I got some on the screen, um, not the viewing screen, but anyway. And I introduce some more ultraviolet light, it glows more, add some here, there it glows, it's glow in the dark paint, and this is uh, uh, fluorescent blue I got here on the edge. But uh, you see, you really get this glow-in-the-dark paint going good. And I pull away the light source. Um, I'll just do another demonstration to where you can see better inside. Now yeah, cool that light, it gets hot. Hmm. And then we got, uh, yeah, just shine the light. See, it's darker space here. 
shine the light on it really good, the ultraviolet light, and then uh, it glows really good. And here's the inside again, bring the light in. And then I took the light away, and it glows really good. Uh, see that you can see some window screen right there. It's kind of a grid pattern. And introduce more light, and then it glows really bright. And, uh, there we go. Here's the back of the SNES Pie box. You don't really see anything glowing, but. You will. I got some glow in the dark paint there, but not very much of it. All sides of this box have some glow in the dark paint. Uh, let's see. I just want my light source going. Okay, yeah, we've got glowing beak children here. <laughs> <laughs> Zillum would call them kid cats. Uh, call them beak children. Here's some uh, glowing beak children on this side. You can see they're revealed. Now they glow. But not very much uh, paint on that. My jack o' lantern stickers. Okay, and they glow once again. Not the stickers, but the uh, paint on here. Glowing dark beak children. Hey cats. And I just unplugged my power supply and this ultraviolet LED is still going, not of course at full brightness. <coughs> and that's how that works. And uh, I'll do another update and uh, when I got more progress done on this. And I'm like, this is a double height Super Nintendo uh, or a, a, a SNES Pie box. That's two Super Nintendo cartridges stacked up. I might do three because I want to put in a lighting system. And I'll do another update, but I'll provide some pictures on the Beeklebotics uh, Facebook page. Of course, this looks like a face right there. She gave me an idea to make a, um, I don't know if you call it Tiki or Luau themed uh, Pie box. And until next time. This is Beak Supreme for the Beaklebotics YouTube channel, and enjoy watching.